No, I refuse to send more money to that brother of mine in the south. He had the audacity to change the pricing of goods behind my back, and now he expects me to pay extra for what? Fish and fruit? I won't have it. Remind me to write a rather disdainful letter to Percival when we return to the castle. Do not actually tell me that you agree with the pricing in that sand dune wasteland of a kingdom. Huh. <sighs> so what if the cold is beginning to sweep in? The Festival of Frost is upon us. They should have been more prepared for that. Hm. Trivial things like climate are none of my concern. If they wish to be better prepared, they should have just sent back some of the gold our kingdom sent to them for silks. Hm. Honestly. <laughs> Oh, remind me why I'm walking through the streets of the commoners again. Oh, right. Yes, I know, I promised. But I didn't think the people of my kingdom would actually remember such a minor speech. But alas, here I am, marching through at least three inches of snow, having to converse with those below me. It's infuriating, is what it is. And another thing, I- Sorry! I was aiming for Jameson! Your face got in the way! That's it. This shall be the last time your hand releases anything, you miniature devil of the sky! Unhand me, you fool! I must reprimand this heathen! A children's game? How is throwing balls of ice at each other considered a game? It's almost like that novel I read in the castle library. Oh, what was it called? Uh, ah, Avalanche. That's right. The one with the ice picks. Are children just that barbaric? Or is it that they have no sense of caution? You, small child, why do you feel the need to throw balls of ice at each other? Fun? This is fun? I suppose youth such as yourself would find the entertainment in something as common as snow. Well, so it's not just snowballs that we throw at each other either. We create things like this. Ta-da! I say, what is this? It looks to be a man of snow. <laughs> well, I am saying it's perfectly fine. <laughs> No! It's... <laughs> no, sir! It's a snowman! <laughs> to be more exact, it's a snowman of you! I built it myself. Well, Jameson helped with the head, but he's a little bigger than me, so he can reach. <laughs> this snowman is meant to be... me? Where's my sword? My blue eyes? No, no. I, I find this to be a completely incorrect <sighs> depiction. Hmm. Ooh. <clears throat> there. A sword. It won't be accurate because, well, it's snow. Remember? Something so common wouldn't be so easy to carve into something so detailed. It would simply be impossible. Ball of snow. Now. No. Nobody dictates myself and gets away with it. Take this! Oh. Another! Um. <laughs> Make it bigger this time. Do not question me. I will do this. Aha! <laughs> ah Take that, man of snow creator! Do not sympathize with them. They knew exactly what they did. They're lucky to come out of this unscathed. Nobody dictates the king. <laughs> you need more discipline in your life. Oh, do be quiet. Your concern for that child means nothing to me. Come, 
Let us return home before we too become men of snow. Parasite has run away from me for the last time. I knew my letter to Percivale had taken far too long to reply, though my brother may be dense at times. He knows deadlines well. No matter. Thank you, brother. Show no mercy to them or the disgusting creatures they have chosen to keep company. Whether it be your soldiers or mine, we will catch them all, and I'll show that disgrace to our kind. The real meaning of punishment. Regards, Ernest. <laughs> this is the thanks I get after showing them care and taking them in. <laughs> so be it. I won't have some human ruining my plans of ruling. I'll catch them, and then I'll kill them. <laughs>